you welcome back to today uh, mathematics class so if it's your first time watching my video or be my channel do it to subscribe like also your button in case what you are brand like this you'll be the first one to notify so this question uh, in this particular video we are going to walk through the solution of this uh, question here for this uh, coming negro examination so guys uh if you're watching us for the maybe our Facebook page, don't forget to just follow us and share this with our course of social media because uh, the question is very, very important, okay? Because I want to get a lot of students are feeling difficult to solve a question like this, okay? If though, whether I even, uh, the first time I even saw this question outside, I gave to all of my students, <laughs> it was confused how you can solve the question. Um, you don't even understand the topic of the question actually because you can't find it to topic here. Yeah? With uh, um, the inequality and also a uh, sexual, um, yeah, it may be a inequality question or sexual question. Though this question is, like I say, is application of uh, uh, sexual realms, okay, of like application of sexual and put it like that because uh, it causes of inequality and all the sexual terms together. So, okay, the main uh, important in this video is how you can solve a question like this for this upcoming next examination. So, guys. If you're just watching my video for the first time, don't forget to subscribe, like, or touch the button in case you have friends like this. You'll be the first person to notify. Also, share that course in uh, social network. You can share with your friend and may benefit for this video and wish to learn the mathematics. So, in case you want to join our WhatsApp group or our Telegram group, you can let us. Uh, I'll drop the link in the comment section or in the description below where you can join us there. So, join us on people now already learn mathematics with us. And in case you have a mathematics question you want to solve like this, you can also let us know okay uh, so we can help you out with it so guys let's walk through the solution of this question for this upcoming next examination so uh we have many questions to solve but for this particular video we need to solve uh today's solution of this particular question so let's go the question states that if you okay we're given that our u is equal to okay we give the elements in u as this okay this represent element in U represent as S. And what are the what are this S represent? This S represent that is zero less than or equal to S, less than or equal to four. So how do you interpret this? Okay, let me read this. We have the P is equal to Y. Okay, and what are the element inside this Y? We have a one less than or equal to Y, less than or equal to four. Okay, and also we have the set Q, which is represent as K. And the elements on this case is equal to a one less than k less than equal to four, and we have r, okay. And this r we have seen as some r, and this is what we have we have zero less than equal to r less than equal to two. The question on that is now I want to illustrate the information in the diagram. And b you want to find p complement intersect q intersect of our complement. So how do you solve a question like this? That the question there. Yeah, to solve this question is very simple, guys. But let's see, let's me interface it because many of students are very difficult to interpret our inequality questions on time. So let me break it down one by one. So we have it as our u is given, our u is given as, as this that is s. Is of s. So what are the elements of this s? Is it is there one less than equal to s, less than equal to four? So how do you interpret it? It means that this is zero, okay, it's less than or equal to s and less than or equal to four. It means that the range of the number of this uh, element of u, of this uh, uh, set of u, the elements inside it is what? They are in between zero and four. The number falls in between zero and four. Because of this equal to, because of this equal to, if we have here, uh, this s, less than or equal to 4, it means that the number has less than 4, but is equal to that 4. Okay, because this 4 is included, because of this equal to we have here, means that this 4 is included in the range, and the number stop as what, as 1, as what, 0 rather. But why are we including 0? Because of this less than or equal to we have here, that is why we should include this for 0. So when you interpret this, we have it as what well, as zero elements of this uh, P, uh, u is because we have zero, we have one, we have two, we have three, we have four. So here this is the interpretation of zero less than s less than four. Okay, that is the interpretation of it. This four is included, 
because it is equal to and this is always included because it's what we have equal to here so let's go to the early set of p set of p is represented as y so and this says that one less than equal to y less than equal to four so in this aspect now uh, you should understand that four is not included in this range because we are not uh, we are not having uh, equal to here okay so it means that the number we start from the number that's less than four which is three and ended as what and end uh, as what as uh, one because this one is uh, included because of this equal to we have here. so therefore we start the number from we have one because the one is included and the next thing we start the number for that is two we have a theory so we stop at theory why are you not writing this all this four because the four is now we don't have equal to here that is why the four is not included so the interpretation of that we have all this so let's go to the element of q so we have q okay so to get a q we represent as k the element is like k represent as k and what are the elements of this or q it says that one less than k less than equal to four so it means that our number start for the number is not start for four and number less than four it means that four is included in this word range okay it means that we have one we have a four the first thing we have four we have three we have two but this one is not included one is not included in the way because we don't have in quarter here so it means that our k is equal to we have start for two one is not included we have three and we have four because the four is included because of equal to we have here so the next one let's go to we have our set r to get to our r is represented as small r and it says that let or we have that we have o less than equal to r less than equal to two so it means that zero is included here and two also is included and the four between what zero and two so here we have the zero is included next we have one and also we have a two so this is the number that uh the set as i mean set of our uh, r the element is, is zero one two so now we have interpreted what all this thing all this uv we have intervened to this uh, normal set now so the question says that we want to illustrate the frame diagram so as a student the best way you can solve this question to avoid mistake okay before you illustrate this area i would like you to find the intersects of all the elements okay let me explain something here the question does not give us that uh, maybe u p uh, q or l is universal set of this or all the set we have here okay it does not give it so how do you know that uh, maybe n of this is a represent as a universal set so let's compare the element in u p q uh, let's compare it together so if you discover that the element of u is start for zero to four and the element of q you can see the element of q inside the element of what u and the same thing as p element of p inside the element of u and also element of r inside the element of what of u so it means that u is the universal set okay so let's compare this or two three data together now so then you can find your you can draw your friend diagram so to do your friend diagram now i will just advise you the first thing to find the intersect of these three sets p p q r what are the intersect so now what we just have to do you come here that is p intersect of q that's intersect of what of r so we want to find the intersect to get the intersect it means that what are the elements they have what in common that you can see in p at the same time as uh, q at the same time as r so what are the elements they have in common if you say one here this one does not have one so one does not go so it means that we have two here we have two here we have two here so two is the element so let's go to the other one we have three this one has three this one have three so it means that the elements the intersect of this three set it is two so it writes it like that okay so the next thing is to find the intersect of two two of the of any of the two sets so let's say the intersect of p and q so then of p and q so what is uh, what are the elements you can see in p at the same time element you can see what in, in q so here we have two 
we have two and also we have two here have two here and also we have three so we have three so it means that we have two and three as the p intercept q that is common to p and q here so what is nice now the next thing is so uh, compare this word uh, p and r together so let's compare our elements of p and what and how together they for the intercepts so the intercept is to be equal to here we have our p we have one two three and our r we have our one year we have one year so one is a uh, the intercept of it here we have two year we have two year so we have one comma two is the intercept of what our p intercept r and the last one let's compare the intercept of what q and r together so our q and r we have one year we have one year, we have uh, two year is zero so it means that they have two words in common so the intercept is what is two let's draw the our let's draw our uh, Venn diagram and let's solve the question a so let's want to solve the question a so let's uh, first of all draw the uh, rectangle okay uh, because of what I'm using, let me first of all do the, our set. So I want to make it big. We have the set, they are the first set. We have the second set. We have the last set. Okay, let's call this one as P. And let's call this one as Q. And let's call this one as R. So let me draw the, our universal now. We have a rectangle. Don't make me, it's not a straight. It is it's U. As an universal, so in this space now, let's uh, input our data. So the our intercept for P in Q and R. So where is the intercept? This is where you write the intercept because at this junction the meet and this space, this one also meet at this space, and also this one also meet at this space. So this space will be our intercept. So the intercept is what is two. So write two there. So the next thing is the intercept of P and Q. So we want to compare this intercept of P and Q. We have it at this place where so they meet as P and Q, this intercept. And now an intercept of all these TV element sets, we have two. So it means that we move these two from this uh, this place. So then we have only TV as the intercept of P and Q here. Yeah? So here we write for TV here. So the next thing, intercept of Q and R. So here we see that intercept of Q and R it is two. And in the intercept of all the three elements we have two here already so if we move to from this space it means that we have nothing here anymore okay so the next thing is to find the intercept of p and how so intercept of p and how it is one and two so here if you remove these two from this space it means of one so it means that this way we have of one okay so next thing now let's uh, uh let's find the remainder of elements of p so if you see the P, we have 1, 2, 3. So it's already in P, we have 1, 2, 3. So it means that there's nothing here, okay, anymore. And also we have our Q. We have our element of Q, that is 2, 3, 4. So we have 2, 3, 4. Uh, so it means that we have, we have already have 2 here. In this side, Q, we have 3, we have 2. So it means that it's made 4. So we write the main, the remainder here, that is 4, okay. So the next thing is our element R. And the element R we have 0, 1, 2, and here we have a 1, 2 here before. Okay, so it means zero. So this will be zero as, well as zero. So now this is the final diagram for this uh, particular question. So we have sub question one. So let's go to the question A rather. So question B now. So question B says that we want to find the intercept of what of P complement intercept of Q and intercept of what of R complements. So before you solve this, you have to find the complement of P and complement of R because I give it, you have already given our, our, our Q as this. I will give our Q as this, so we want to find the complement of P. To find the complement of P, so if you still remember, complement it means that what are the number, you subtract the number and the elements, the elements you can find in this uh, P, you subtract it from the universal sets. Okay? So the elements in this P, you subtract for the inverter cells, then you write the remainder. So let's let's say it now. We have P. In the P, we have the we have the uh, element P, I mean one. So let's move one from this space now. We have two, let's move two for this space. We have three, we have move two from this space. So remainder of zero and four. 
so this space we have what zero we have comma what four as our p complements okay so the next thing now let's find our how complements so we have our how complements we have our complement we equal to so the elements in r we have zero so let's remove zero from here we have one remove one for here that is a two so let's remove zero one two from here so it remains of what of three and four so it means our output complement is what is three and what and four so let's close it so now what will be the answer for p in complement intersect of q intersect of r complement now so let's compare the, the three together these are p complements we have zero and four and our complement we have zero and four and we have our q here that is two three and four so what are the elements they have in common so if you look at it down what number can you see in this uh this place and also at the same time at this place so here we have zero here this is not zero this is not zero so zero is not in the intersect so if you should notice we have four here we have four here and we also have four here so it means that the answer is equal to we have four so the answer to this is equal to four so guys so that is the solution to this particular uh question here so guys so this is how you solve a question like this so if you like this video don't forget to uh subscribe like us to about in case what you need to have a benefit like this you'll be the first part to notify and also if maybe you're watching off our facebook page don't for, don't forget to uh, to uh follow us share with your friends so they can benefit from this uh particular question please and don't just watch uh go to the comment section let me know where you are watching this video from okay i appreciate you god bless you as you do so and also don't forget to share with your friends so they can benefit from this uh particular mathematics class so guys let's go and um, let's go to the next question immediately after this uh, uh class okay next question to be solved okay guys